Welcome to the house that Rockney built. Leahy turned into legacy. Parsegan renovated and Holtz restored. Notre Dame Stadium, the home of the Fighting Irish. The Mustangs will put total leather and will get started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Irish offense will take the field to start this game. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. That's caught. It's Collins. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Big time throw in that last play. You know, you think about great Notre Dame quarterbacks. I think back to a couple of Joes. Joe Montana, Joe Theismann, they'd love what they'd be seeing right now from this kid. He's got arm talent. He's got accuracy. And because of that, he gives this offense the ability to light up the scoreboard. Off play action on first down. He makes a catch. That's where they'll mark him down. But what a play there to pick up a first down. Nice catch there. You know, I think back to great Golden Domer wide receivers and Tim Brown, who won a Heisman, Rocket Ismail, obviously. How about Jeff Samarja? There's a name you don't hear very much anymore, but he was awesome for Brady Quinn back in the day. And all those guys had the ability to win one-on-one. -on -one. Their quarterbacks knew that if they had that matchup outside, they were going to take it. And I think this quarterback feels the same way about that guy. He is just so dynamic outside. After the misfire, it's second and ten. They keep attacking through the air. Gets it out fast. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And a nice job finding my wide receiver. And then how about the wide receiver turning into a running back, getting upfield, getting some positive yards, and getting the first down. A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. Bulls his way forward. He picks up the first down, brought down, but not before he put that dude in a blender. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early. And on this opening drive for them, they're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. A defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or some safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. Looking for a man. It's Leonard. He makes the connection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up. Dame coming to the line with another first down. The give to the tailback. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. From the gun, give on the inside. Forges ahead for one to the eight yard line. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. 
on third and short. They'll ride the running back here. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Second and goal for the offense. Tries again to get it in. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. How impressive has this offense been just hogging the ball? They've just been eating away at the clock. They've been matriculating the football down the field. And here they are scoring a touchdown on their opening possession. The opposing quarterback's like, bro, when am I going to get the ball? When do I get a chance to take the field? That was crazy. And the extra point makes it 7 0. Precise, relentless execution on that 13 play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Mustangs offense will go to work for the first time. And I think we're going to see plenty of big plays, especially when you have a couple of guys who can spin the bean like these dudes, Jesse. These are two guys that can reach every corner of the field. Every throw is at their disposal. We're expecting these offenses to go up and down the field. Yeah, and it's just got to be so fun to play skill positions for these quarterbacks. Like, they, you're always open. He's going to throw it a lot. They're going to give him a leash to be able to do that. Just a fun day of fireworks. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. He'll keep it himself. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. To the ground with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the back. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. With the catch, it's Bailey. Breaks the tackle. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. And the Mustangs are flying down the field. From the gun, running back on the move. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Got three on first down and second and seven. They're trying to seal the edge off right tackle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Jennings. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. Across the 25, he's got room. 
Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. It's a draw. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. The Mustangs have pushed it inside the 20. On second down, wants to throw. Let's it fly. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, SMU. You want to keep your offense on the field? Wear down the defense? Put that tape on and show it in a clinic. That's the way it's done. And as a defense, man, there's nothing more demoralizing. You can handle it when you give up three, but to give up the touchdown at the end of a long drive, you're already exhausted. You've already been punked the whole way down the field. Man, that's frustrating. And he splits the uprights on the extra point. He marched 78 yards down the field. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. After that latest answer, tied things up. Just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Looking for room. It's locked. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger. And you could tell they pull the trigger so fast. Get to the back. Get him on the ground quickly. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long backed up inside their 20. Going to take a shot. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Irish send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Makes a move. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Grabbed over the middle. It's Bailey. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. Scanning the field, it's Jennings. Fires to the right. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath... The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. 
A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver of the middle of the field. They'll rush to the line. Clock stopped for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. He's looking to throw it. He's got it and still on his feet. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He wants it all. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Mustangs. Really nice job by awareness, too, from that guy. He's working the back line of the end zone. It's so easy to step out of bounds there, but he knew where it was, and when he made the catch, he made sure just to get one toe down to secure the TD. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Price. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here come the Irish, back on offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Makes the grab. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. This will likely be the last play of the half. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to it. And after that short game, they'll head to the locker room. It's halftime here. Ready to go here in the second half, and Notre Dame will kick it away. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Throws for the tight end. On target to the left. A little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but... Play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good. Unloads it downfield. Brings it down on the right side. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, SMU. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different.
they'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own and unfortunately ended up losing yards. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Throws to the wideout. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Jennings. He's got his man. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. The give is to Smith. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting the backfield, making the play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Fast motion from the offense. Now the play fake. Feeling some heat. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. This QB has had a lot of success all day long, throwing for so many touchdowns, looking very comfortable. Finally, the defense gets to him. Finally, the defense gets a win. They needed something to go their way. Got to start getting some more hits on this guy. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Finds a tight end. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. And the Mustangs send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use this. And they block it. Big time play by the punt block team. Great job rushing the punter, understanding where he's trying to kick the football, getting your hand on it, and then how about the scoop and score and do the rest. Big time special teams play. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. As if it weren't a big enough play just to block the punt. They scooped it up, put it in the house, and man, oh man, did they give their team some energy. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. Back to throw, it's Jennings. He lobs one high down the left side. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, passing complete. And here comes the offense on second down. 
He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Maryland. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. The Mustangs come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Free snap motion in the backfield. Trying to get to him. It's caught. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. I don't know if the defense came into this one expecting the fullback to be a weapon catching the ball, but that play didn't look like they were ready for him. He catches it, turns it upfield for the first. And the Mustangs are moving quickly down the field. Looking downfield, it's Jennings. Lofts one high and deep. Pulls it in on the right. He was oh so close to wrapping up this third quarter with a score. What a play to finish off the period. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. First down to start the drive after the break. Power football with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without him. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. You know, it's funny. In an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. Here come the Irish back on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. It's first and 10 from the 31. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Quickly out to the tight end. 
You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. It's now second down after the short completion. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. Back to the air one more time. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's running in the open. And after the huge scramble, he slides and gets down. Terrific run to get out of trouble. He does a really good job dropping back to pass. And he wanted to pass, but man, so dynamic. Season opening, takes off, makes a huge play. And if you think the crowd was excited before that, now they're really lit. Looking to throw. It's complete! He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. On second down, looking again to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. It's a big-time moment for the defense. They're creating a negative play, getting a sack with the opponent right down on the goal line. Now that they've backed him up a little bit, a touchdown doesn't seem like it's just a gimme anymore. They desperately need to get the score here on third and goal to have any kind of wild chance. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. Using his feet to buy time. Got some room in to the goal line. And he runs it all the way down to the three-yard line before he's finally knocked down. You know, in these goal line situations, the field starts to shrink. It's easier to key in on these guys that you know can fly at the quarterback spot. Defense was locked in. Nice job on the third and goal. It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It's good. You got all three timeouts left in your back pocket. You're down a possession here late in the fourth quarter. You do not have to kick an onside kick. If you trust your defense, and you use your timeouts wisely, you can have a lot of time left on offense to go and win this game. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run out the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. Man, they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys physical, ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. So this is going to come down to who's better in the trenches. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Touch pass on the run. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Mustangs will punt this one away. He hopes this one turns out a little better. Had the other one blocked. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. 
Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Back to throw. It's Leonard. Fires to the wideout. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. From the red zone, looking for a space. Going for six. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. One of the reasons this defense is so hard to move the football on, they've got a safety back there who's just reading the QB's eyes, and he's so athletic and so fast. He's able to break passes up, and right now, it's like he's just toying with the quarterback. He's inviting him to try and take some shots, knowing that he's going to get there to disrupt the ball. They'll go back to the air on second down. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TD so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. What a fantastic job by the defense that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got the lead late, setting up fourth down. Can they come up with one more stop? If they get it, they might win this game. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Pressure coming. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. And here in the final minute, they're a single point behind. Man, great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game. Now, all you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do. Just like practice, knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they've got it locked up in the final minute after the touchdown and extra point. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. This one is about finding the balance between being aggressive and not being reckless, Jesse. The only way this thing works, though, if they're going to be aggressive, this offensive line has got to be able to hold up here for this QB. Yeah, because you need to take shots beyond the sticks so the clock will stop and you can save every second you have. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Give to the running back. Makes a man miss. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? So here comes our first play of overtime. From the gun, the ground game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, boom, and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Leonard. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance.
They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. If he runs this back, this game's over. And that will put a stamp on it. A game-deciding play as they seal it with a pick. Oh, that's a throw the quarterback would love to have back. In this juncture of the game, it's overtime. You're down in the red zone. You know the windows are going to be small. Just got too aggressive with his decision-making. Throws the costly interception. Now the opponent's about to take over. And if they score, they win. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. Makes the catch. It's Smith. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Third down, and they want to make sure their kicker has a chance to win it in overtime. Now on the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They'll try to win it with a field goal right here. Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. So here comes the field goal team, and they'll kick for the win. The field goal is no good. And after the miss, the only hope is to get a stop and play another round of overtime. And that's just what you couldn't have happen. You can't come away with no points on your first possession. It puts all the pressure, David, on your defense. Now, they've got to pitch a shutout here on their opponent's opening possession of OT, or this game is over. And, man, does it change the complexion now for defense? Because now you got to be aggressive. Because all they need is a field goal to win. They don't have to be aggressive offensively. They can run the football. This defense is going to have to be great and force the kicker into a tough spot. The noise level is relentless here on second down. They go to the ground. Got enough space. Touchdown, Mustangs. That score gives them the lead here in the second overtime. Man, these ball carriers, they've got a lot of ability in the open field. Their ability to make people miss, but also show off the speed. You saw all of that on that play. Second overtime, and they'll have to go for two. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off play action. They do not get the two, and now the lead sits at six in double OT. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Makes the grab. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. First and goal as they try to answer with a touchdown of their own. Charges ahead. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Touchdown, fighting Irish! 
That ties it up here in double OT, and now they can win it. Man, what a great response by this offense going down the field, scoring the touchdown. Now, I've got to go for two. I know the new overtime rules. They changed this years ago. Jesse, you should work on this in practice. What's your go-to two-point play right here? I'll tell you, after running the ball as well as they did on that last touchdown, I could see them doing it again. I think they've got confidence in the big fellas up front to get it done, find a way into the end zone, and be more physical. Second overtime, you have to go for two, and this is for the win. Looking for a man, it's Leonard. They don't get it. A great stop by the defense, and we will play a third overtime. And now it's all two-point conversion attempts from here on out. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll run play action. The sweet feet buy a little time. They're stopped on the two-point try, and we are still tied. Now this two-point conversion attempt for the win. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. They can't get it in. Neither team can get the two and will play another overtime. Let's do it again, guys, shall we? And we'll see just how far down the play sheet they have to go for this two-point try. He's looking to throw. Tremendous execution to get the two, and now they turn up the heat. Now they'll have to respond with a two of their own. The play action fake. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Clutch play and execution ties the game again and will play another overtime. Play the analytics here. You go for two. The give. They got it done with the two, and now they hold the edge deep in overtime. This will be the ball game. Make it and play on, miss it and lose. To the air, it's Jennings. He makes the grab for the two and ties the game. And now they'll empty the backfield for the two-point try. He's looking to throw. They got it done. A great play call to give them the lead by two. So now they'll need to answer to keep this game alive. They want to throw it. They are denied. The two-point try is stopped and a game-winning play by this defense in overtime. 